Right. From the dollar to export demand, the strength of this bull market is, like it or not, tied to China. Here's what Obama said on his first visit as president to the country. We have to understand that the future of the United States and Asia is inextricably linked. Uh, the issues that matter most to our people, issues of economic growth and job creation, non-proliferation, clean energy, uh, these are all issues that have to be uh, part of a joint agenda. And but the dollar declining and debt ballooning, how long can the China-U.S. relationship stay friendly? Let's go trading the globe with Peter Schiff, president of Europe Pacific Capital, author of Crash Proof 2.0, who is in Vegas where he's waging against the dollar. <laughs> we're, we're half joking about that, yeah. Peter. Well, that's but because it, I only bet on sure things. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, uh, we had a Chinese bank regulator. Good, I have to say, that was a pretty good point. <laughs> nice going, Peter. <laughs> we had a Chinese bank regulator criticizing the U.S. for keeping the, the dollar weak, for keeping rates low. Uh, at the same time, if, if China actually stopped buying dollars, I mean, wouldn't that essentially be cutting its nose to spite its face in a, in a sense? Because no, they, no, no they'd, be, they, they'd be pulling the plug on our phony economy, and the sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. Because but wouldn't that cause a further plunge in the dollar and therefore their own holdings to, to devalue? But they're, they're going to devalue anyway. Right now they're throwing their good money after our bad money. The sooner they stop that, the better off they're going to be. But, you know, it's, it's funny, we're, we're going over to China. We're trying to tell the Chinese to spend more money, but we also want them to buy our bonds. They can't do both. Them, Peter, they, can, also, they can't spend and save the same money. Don't we also want them to revalue their currency? I mean, isn't their currency artificially yeah, weak? And isn't we, this peg, isn't this devaluation stealing jobs from America? No, that's isn't, what, in fact, China perpetrating a weaker look, dollar policy by that, buying treasuries, keeping their currency no, weak? So to that, make it sound as if this is all a U.S. policy issue is that, absolutely wrong. That is what we're saying publicly. We obviously don't want them to do that because the, the way they strengthen their currency is to stop buying our treasuries, is to stop buying dollars. So the only way that China can have a weaker, a stronger currency is if we have much higher interest rates in the United States, no, if we have higher true, inflation. You make it sound yeah, sure. as if we're their only trading partner. In fact, I mean, the Europeans are not very happy. They're probably less happy than China, you about where China, what China's doing China, and manipulating the peg on their currency no, against China, the dollar. China is the biggest buyer of our debt. They're our biggest benefactor. They're, our, they're, they're subsidizing this economy greater than anybody else. But we're getting subsidies from all over the world. World. And ultimately, that's going to stop because it's helping to perpetuate our phony economy where all we do is spend money that we don't have well, and, and, and consume things that we didn't make. Peter, often you come on the show and you rail against policy. What are you going to do here other than raise rates dramatically and cut off and choke off whatever recovery we have? We don't, remember, we don't have a recovery. The economy is getting sicker because what of what do? we're doing. What are you going to do? We have to allow the economy to restructure. You know, Barack Obama, when he's abroad in China, he's telling the Chinese that Americans are going to save more. We're going to produce more. We're going to export more. But his policies are preventing that from happening. The stimulus is designed to keep us borrowing and spending, and that is not what we're telling the world we're going to do. Meanwhile, you guys are getting so excited about the stock market going up. If you price our stocks in real money, gold, they're still going down. It only looks like stocks are going down because we're measuring them in depreciated gold. currency. <laughs> All right, Peter. I'll Gotta let you go. We're running that out of time. Thanks the so market's much for going joining up. us. I, uh, Peter Schiff joining it, us. I, I, I will, I will it doesn't make sense. China, the Chinese economy, most of the Chinese economy, clearly is growing. And one of the trades here, I think, that investors they'd be growing a lot faster if they weren't if propping us up. You, he's if, still around. Yeah, if, <laughs> he's still in, but that's no, seriously. One of the trades to look at right now: Ford Motors. Timmy's talked about on the desk. Guy Adami talks about. You gotta look at Ford Motors right now. A lot of the recovery that they are seeing is coming from that Chinese auto demand. Look at the auto trade. It's a great way to plow. Uh, pl to play the resurgence in the Chinese This economy. is really about an asset bubble that people are concerned that is being created in Asia because of both a weaker dollar and a two-week yuan. So the best way to play it right now, until that bubble bursts, is to buy Chinese, the Chinese domestic economy, is to buy Chinese real estate. So, you know, well, that's the way what I'm you doing. can best do it is T.O. Claymore. Is he still with us? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to interject some sense every once in a while. Get rid of Peter Schiff. It's, it's anyway, great. T.A.O., which is Claymore's real estate fund, E-House, which is a real estate services company, a billion six. That's EJ Ticker and China Kong Holdings. These are all three ways you can get that real estate bubble. But I caution you, right. be careful, because I agree, that's a bubble that's overly inflated. And just real quick, where make would the casinos money here be yourself. here domestically? You cannot get rid of this <laughs> where, where would the casinos domestically here be in the U.S. without the exposure they have? All right. We got, we, we got to go for real. And Peter Schiff, we got to go for real. <laughs> Always good to speak with you, Peter Schiff.